So hello everyone, I'm Father John Camus. I'm the pastor of the Church of Saint Jean Baptiste on 76th Street and Lexington Avenue. So I'm, I have a letter this week for my parishioners and for the friends of St. Jean's. It has to do with some of our financial issues. Um, I think I'll just read the letter. It's easier uh, and I'll be more complete if I spend some time reading it rather than uh, just uh, talking about it. I won't be so long-winded, I think. That may be a better way of putting it. So dear parishioners, over the past few weeks, I've made casual mention of some problems we've been having in the church. I was preoccupied with the pandemic and our political landscape for quite a while and presumed that most of you were too. So I kept putting off reporting to you. I know it's not over yet, but I'm refocused enough to share with you what has been going on. The organ was giving us some trouble. Stops weren't working or cutting out while the organ was playing. At one point, the organ actually began playing on its own. I wasn't sure if I should call an exorcist or an organ builder, but I called the man who built the organ, and he found that dozens of digital components that run our very big and complicated organ were failing. This new digital system was installed in 1997 when we expanded the organ. We had the original Murray Harris pipe organ way up on the second balcony. We added a small gallery-sized pipe organ to accompany the choir that sang in the lower balcony at that time. We also added an electronic section to the organ. Its speakers are contained in the seating section near the organ console. The digital brain that runs the huge instrument is in the organ console itself. In consultation with the organ builder, John Clowder, we decided to replace the entire digital brain with a new one. The cost was $60,000. This may sound like a fortune, but the restoration of the organ that took place in 1997 cost $1,200,000. All things considered, this wasn't so bad. We brought the entire organ back to good health and we were, able to, we were able to use it for Christmas. Two weeks after Christmas, we started to have trouble with the digital, another digital system, the lighting board that was installed in 1995. You may have been here at Mass on one Sunday when half of the lights went out. I had to leave the altar and shut all the lights off and reboot the system. The man who installed the system had told me last year, as we were trying to install LEDs throughout the church, that the old system wasn't made for them. He got some of them to work out, but he told us that ultimately we would have to change the lighting board to accommodate this new technology. Three weeks ago, the lighting board heated up and then gave out with a puff of smoke. The board, not including labor, will cost 50,000. I've given 25,000 to begin the construction of the lighting board. I hope it will be completed in the next 10 to 12 weeks. Then two weeks ago, several divisions of the main organ weren't working. John Clowder came over again and found that one of the two blowers of the main organ in the upper balcony burned out. We ordered a new one from Germany uh, it will be shipped over in pieces and reconstructed inside the organ. This is probably an, an additional $10,000. We were able to pay for this because there were funds left for the still not completed vault project. You've noticed the new sidewalk along 76th Street. Beneath it, the newly reconstructed vault and the new oil tank for the church and rectory uh, are housed there. The remainder of the project includes pouring new sidewalk along the remainder of 76th Street and across the front of the church on Lexington Avenue. That's a cost of about $200,000 to complete that job. As I say, uh, we were prepared for it. We had planned to complete the sidewalk job with money at hand when the warm weather returned after Easter. However, we now have a shortfall because of the organ and the lighting emergencies. 
This is certainly the worst possible time for me to ask for your help. The Cardinal's appeal has begun and you're receiving solicitations on a regular basis. Many of you have been so very generous since the pandemic began. Some of you giving as much as five times your usual weekly donation. All I can do is humbly ask for your help to raise $120,000 to cover the shortfall for the Vault Project. I really hope we can complete this seemingly never-ending Vault Project by late summer. You may give a donation at any time. Please note Vault Project at the bottom of your check so the money is put in the right place. You can put your donation in the collection basket or any of the collection baskets throughout the church. You can mail a donation in. If you know parishioners who no longer come to church because of COVID, maybe you could mention my plea to them also. I have a copy in the bulletin and they can read about what the project is all about. I look forward to the day when we all will feel comfortable to gather once again for the Sunday Eucharist, to enjoy our magnificent church, be uplifted by our wonderful music. So may God's peace reign in your hearts forever. And thank you for listening to me. And come visit us and uh, pray with us if you feel comfortable. Have a good day.